Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and Happy New Year's Eve. And in this video, we'll be talking about the major changes in Solidity version 0.8. So two weeks ago, Solidity two weeks ago or a week ago, there about Solidity launched a new version, which is Solidity version 0.8. So in this video, we'll talk about the five major breaking changes in this uh, version of Solidity, and we'll go through all of them and it helps you understand the version of Solidity better. So I've created, I've opened my Remix IDE, I've created um a contract right here and i've specified my version and if you go to my compiler sub i'm using the version 0.8 to compile so the first on our list here is the arithmetic operations so arithmetic operations now revert on underflow and overflow so the transition reverts and stop in previous version of solidity we had to make use of the safe math library which was created by the open zeppelin but in the version of solidity 0.8 it just seemed like solidity integrated the safe math library into the fashion so to see this and working and i'll create now uh, i'll create this here let's create a function here or i'll just create a variable here a public variable and you ain't um, let's call this a i don't know i always run out of ideas of variable names so i'll just call this a and it should equal to zero mm. so we'll create a function here we'll call this subtract 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 and uh we'll just make this public it shouldn't return any value basically what we just want to do is to what we just want to do is to subtract one from the a variable so we can use the a minus equal one so this subtracts so this subtracts one from a and um if we look here there's nothing wrong with this code this could run perfectly and we should try running this code we deploy the contract and we call we check the variable this is zero we call subtract the code doesn't run as you can see here we have a reverse error this is we have a reverse error here transaction reverts on this but there are some times you might want to use this feature you might want to allow underflow and overflow in your contract so this also added the unchecked block so once you add the unchecked block here and um, move this code in here so what this does it tests solidity not to check this particular um this particular oppression thanks a little not to check this oppression so if we should try deploying this contract again and uh we subtract one we can see the transaction was successful and if we check the value we get an underflow value so this is the way you can um, use your underflow and overflow you can decide to check for this underflow and overflow by default or you can wrap it in an unchecked block to definitely ignore this underflow and overflow so as a major change in Solidity 0.8, the next change we'll talk about is the ABI encoder version 2. So in previous version of Solidity, there are times we want to re we want to return structs. So we have a struct here. Uh, structs can name this. Let's just name this people. I won't really create a good struct. So just have a string, which is a name. I don't know if I need to keep this as memory. And it has a U int, which is an H. Okay, this is a, this is a struct. In previous version of Solidity, once we try, mm, we just call this struct returned. It has to be down here. So we call this struct returned, and we call this public, and it should return basically. We we'll go to the compiler tab. We can see it needs to be memory. Yeah, we need to make this memory. Let's give us this. We'll change this to um, a previous version of Solidity so that we can see the changes. And we'll just wait for it to compile. And if we should try returning, if you try returning, um, okay, this is not a valid block in Solidity 0 0.7, so we should just comment this out. If we should try returning a people struct, so we can just create a new people. And I'll give it a name and age. I'm running the new keyword. Sorry, my bad. So once we do this, we can see we get an error. Uh, we cannot use this. We can only use this in the ABI encoder version two, which was an experimental encoder then. So what we had to do was to mm, use this. Once we use this, you can see we this now works because now we are using the encoder version two. But in Solidity zero point eight. The ABI the ABI coder version two is um, enabled by default. 
so we don't need to specify this here to use the version one encoder we can just use this line here and this will use the previous version and we still get the same error here you can see we still get the same error here so we we'll go this out and we don't need to explicitly tell the, the compiler so this is now redundant in the version 0 0.8 because right now it uses the encoder version 2 by default so we don't need to specify this so now right now we can return structs and arrays and the next major change is the exponenting of variables so in previous version of solidity in previous version of solidity just to see this in working i'll create a function here and um, let's call this x and it's public and it returns your int basically so what we do here we return 2 is to 2 is to 3 they just return this value and this is just a random value i came up with and we should use the version 0.7 let this compile go to the deploy tab clear this and as usual this is not valid so we could just scrape this off because we are in the 0.7 right now so once we do this and to want us to make this pure so let's just make this pure okay so once we do this we go by to the deploy tab we deploy this solidity version we deploy the solidity contract so once we check the exponential we get 64 this is because in in the previous version as you can see using 0 0.7 in the previous version it was less associative so what this does it computes this first and then it does this so that's how it works in the previous version but in the solidity 0 0.8 which is the newest version of solidity we won't, we won't change anything and we won't make anyone take precedence we just need to see the default in solidity 0 0.8 it is right associative which means it does this the right hand first and then computes the left so we could deploy the same contract without changing anything in it and um we should check this you can see we have a different value which is 256 so in the additional version of solidity the right is computed and it moves over to the left in the old versions of solidity left is computed and it moves over to the right so this is a major break change you need to know about in solidity version 0 0.8 so i'll just uncomment this back and uncomment this back the next um breaking change in solidity is that there's no more byte variable here there's no more but the byte variable so we can't declare a byte variable like this anymore in solidity 0 0.8 if we convert this to 0 0.7 we shouldn't get a complaint on an error about this particular variable i just need to comment this out so we won't get we won't get any error about this but if we should switch to the version 8 so i'm calling this version 8 but you should understand what i mean is version 0 0.8 so if you should switch to version 8 we can see we'll get an error if this compiles completely it's still compiling right here if this compiles completely yeah we should get an error if you check the compile tab we see we have an error byte is no longer a valid data type so to you byte was an alias for byte one so to make use of this we have to just change this to a byte one so this is for upgrading your code to a newer version of solidity if you're trying to upgrade your smart contract to the version 0 0.8 you have to um, change all your byte data types to byte one i'm not talking about the byte data type or the byte to data type i'm talking about the single byte data type you have to change it to byte one so that's a, another breaking change in solidity version 0 0.8 so the next breaking change we'll talk about is um, the address data types. In previous version of Solidity, we could create, uh, let's just call this um, addresses and this public. Basically, it shouldn't return anything. And what we want to do is message the sender, the transfer, and one eater. Do the same thing for text.origin the transfer so if we could do this you can see we have an error but let's switch this to a recent, a, another version of solidity so let's wait for this to compile and it's compiled as you can see here we don't have an error just a few warnings about um, license let me just add this so that this compiler will shut the fuck up so we just add it to the top of the page so that the compiler will keep quiet and not um, keep one minute about that so as we can see in previous version of solidity 0 0.7 or other versions you can see we don't have an error using this by default the end the message of sender which is the sender of the address and the origin the transaction origin which is an address type are by default payable addresses so which means we can call the transfer function on these payable addresses 
But in the solidity version 0 0.8, uh, we can see once it compiles, we, should, we can see we have some errors here. This is because in the recent versions of solidity, we have to explicitly tell the compiler that this is a payable address. So we have to convert this address to a payable address. Solidity doesn't give us this address as payable addresses anymore. We have to explicitly convert it to a payable address. So we can do this by adding the payable like a function here wrap the address inside this payable and um, do the same thing for this so as you can see here it works and the errors are gone because we now let the compiler know that this is a payable address we now convert this address to a payable address this works for variables also so we can declare a variable here and mark it as payable and give this sender and it should equals to sng.sender because this is just an address we have to convert it to a payable address so we can do payable and then we can quickly just call the sender here so these are the five major breaking changes in solidity version 8 version 0 0.8 rather so although there are still some breaking changes you can find here in this link here up here in solidity so these are some few breaking changes but these are the one which which a developer will use from time to time and I just decided I'll make a video on this so you can see some changes in Solidity version 0.8 so you can know the changes you'll make when trying to upgrade to a recent version of Solidity. Thank you all for watching and if you did like this video give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel so that we can give, keep you updated to um, programming in general. And if you didn't like this video hit the dislike button. Happy New Year's Eve to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.